Hello out there in YouTube land. Here's another rough video production showing you how to patch small sheetrock jobs. Uh, if you saw the other video we had on sheetrock patching, uh, we actually ran and put one by fours in between the uh, splice of where the sheetrock was going. That way there would be something to bite into behind it, you know, like two inches here, an inch in here, oh, actually inch and three quarter, inch and three quarter. And that's how that turned out because we raised up the bar. And uh, if you come over here, this die side, instead of putting wood uh, behind it for the gap, what you could what you could do here where we raised it uh, three and a half inches, you know, to make room for the electric going up. If you wanted to be cheap and spend an hour, you could come here with like a Dremel or a fine tool and cut three quarter inch all the way across. But oh my God, is it really worth the four bucks you're saving? So. Instead, we just go ahead and you want to screw these off that's already there because they're going to be putting a, a backsplash there. Well, if they mastic it, it needs to have something strong. Sheetrock is fine as long as it's not like a bathroom. But you need something solid. That's why we're in sheetrock screws all through there. But instead of, you know, uh, cutting all that, another way to do it is just taking little pieces of scrap wood because we already have the bar top on there. Um, we want to do it before the granite comes because then it'd be so hard to get in there. So I just took little fur strips or one by twos, whatever I had laying around from plywood and literally just drilled it in at an angle to toenail it. And you just line it up at the bottom, basically toe plate here underneath it. And just to show you, uh, you can even do it like right here, you see, because you have to have some kind of backer to, to uh, be able to attach to when you put a piece of sheetrock there because it's not able to bow in. You know, one screw is fine here, one screw is fine here, but only because, you know, it's only like three inches, but anything bigger. Like you see here, even though we screwed it in one here tight, it could still be loose and move. So what we do is uh, we did the same thing here. We went ahead and pre-drilled it and run a screw in there. I know I'm not gonna get a cinematography award because we're trying to be a carpenter. My Mexican blood is coming out in me as well, but I can do Mexican everything. Uh, but you see here, we're just starting it. Sheetrock screws will be fine. And look, now you have a solid backer. Same thing here. This is just another first strip. I left this one vacant so you could see how it turns out. See, there'd be nothing to bite in here. And you want at least three quarters of something behind it to bite into for the sheetrock being half inch thick. So line that up. You see, we pre-drilled it and put our screws in there at an angle. Maybe that one should be half in a little further back. Same thing. Let me see if I can get this camera to hold up while I do this. There we go. And tripod. So we got it lined. This is lined up with the bottom toe plate 2x4. Got it here. And all we did was line it up. This side with the face of that. Pull it here and there. It's all going to be floated anyway. You won't see it. And then you have a solid backer to where if we're just putting this old sheetrock up, we'll probably put something new. But this is what came off the other side. But now you have, set it like a trifecta, you have a four places to shoot. You have here, here, side to front back, side to side, a little easy use to say. And look, now when you push on it, it's not going anywhere. And that's pretty much how you patch little spaces without killing yourself. Anyway, if you like the video, please click uh, subscribe and like and share. Hope this helps you out. And we love our DeWalt tools. Have a good day.